For number two in our beginning series for drums, we want to learn to deal with some basic rhythms. We're going to learn to count out and perform both whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. We'll look at what those look like in a second, but this is something that you can practice at your drum set or you can even just practice on your lap. Um, our first thing we want to do is use our foot to keep time. We'll do this in a second on the drum set, but we'll use, well, you can just do that with your foot as well, but we'll try it with our bass drum on our drum set in a little bit. Um, and then you can also use your hands to run through these rhythms. So say if we were going to practice our whole notes, which we'll look at in a second, we would keep time with our feet, and we want to get used to counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what a whole note does is it just holds out over that whole space. So we'll just play on one. So you could clap this, or you could tap it on your lap. You could go one. Or, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll take this to the drum set in a second, but let's also look at what this looks like on paper. So for our whole notes, we go, two, three, and only play on one. 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 Next, we're going to look at half notes. So half notes are only two beats long, so, They'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. Next we'll look at quarter notes. Quarter notes are what our feet have been playing the whole time, and now we're gonna do that with our hands as well. So we'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is pretty easy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, we're going to divide up the beat. So with eighth notes, we're going to be playing with our hands two times every time we play with our feet once. So at this point, for a drummer, it probably makes sense to divide this up. We can have our right foot go one, two, three, four, like we've been doing. And we'll have our right hand go one, two, three, four. But each time we play with those, we're also going to use our left hand once and go one and two and three and four. And. Now you want to make sure your foot only plays with your right hand. One, two, three, four, while your left hand goes one and two and three and four and like this. One and two and three and four and. And let's look at what that looks like right now as well. Now playing two times on every beat. So if our beat is one, two, three, four, we'll play one and two and three and four and. Okay, now before we go to our last step, we're going to do eighth notes one more time, but we're going to try something a little bit harder. We're going to do them only using our right hand. So instead of going one and two and right left, we're going to go one and two and three and four and. Now it may be difficult to make your right foot tap and have your right hand play twice at first, but the more you do it, the easier it'll get. So we'll try to go one and two and three and four and, and once you can do that pretty easily, we're ready for our last step, which is sixteenth notes. Sixteenth notes are where we divide the beat up four times every beat. So we're going to do what we just did, one and two and three and four and but then we'll also add an extra note between all of those. So we'll go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And usually I recommend to button that up with a one at the end. So go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So once you can do all of those, we want to see if we can put those all together. So from the beginning, we'll keep time and go one, two, and we'll go through each idea. One, two, three, two half notes. One, two, three, then quarter notes. One, two, three, then our eighth notes. One and two and three, then sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right, let's see what that looks like one more time. Find our beat and then go through each rhythm. 
One. Then one. Three. Then one. Two. Three. Four. Then one. And two. And three. And four. And one. E and a two. E and a three. E and a four. E and a one. All right. Let's hear that one more time. Ready. Two. Three. Four. One. So we're ready to bring things around to our drum set. So first thing we're going to start is by taking that quarter note. Putting that in our bass drum with our right leg. <clears throat> the next thing we want to do is test out each of those rhythms on our snare drum. Let's drum right in front. Of us. So what we're going one, two, three, four. First we'll do our whole notes. Usually I have my students do this on each drum just to get used to counting that without it getting too boring. So go on. If they can do a full set, then we'll move on to the next rhythm. Next we'll have half notes. practice alternating hands. Okay, and then we're going to go on to our quarter notes. All right, all right now it's still okay if we go. All right, then we move on to our eighth notes. This one's a little bit tougher. Again, we can practice going around the whole kit. We can go. Okay. If that's good, our next step is we're going to try that just with one hand so we can get ready for our 16th notes. So we'll go. Finally, we're ready to do those 16th notes and go So if we can get through all those rhythms, again, if that one's tough, try it on all the surfaces. So now we're going to try to do all of those without stopping. Usually for my students, make sure they really have it. We do all the rhythms across our snare and our three tom drums. Or if you have a, a smaller kit, you can go, you know, snare and two toms. Or you can even do it on, on cymbals or different surfaces. It's just important to try to get used to these rhythms. So, so let's try that uh, with four sets of every rhythm like this. So we'll go... Stop. And our final test 
is to do that without the repetition, to see if we can play that on one surface without stopping. So if we can go shape to move forward. You can also try doing it on different surfaces. Um, with the longer notes, maybe you can practice them on your cymbals. So we can go... Okay. So, once you can deal with all those rhythms, you want, to head and you want to go ahead and try to put them all together, and then I think we're ready to take our next step. So, hopefully, whenever you're there, we'll move on.